Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will Corinne. What are you doing? You're trying to what? Mm. Didn't I say I would come get you? I can't with her. I just can't. Hey guys, it's Coco over here bringing the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And in today's video, we have a fall door wreath that I'm going to put on my front door. So I'm really excited about this DIY because I've seen these wreaths in the store and they cost like 50 or $60. And I was like, I can make that myself. So um, I'm really excited because I didn't want to spend $60 on it. And I didn't. I think I spent probably maybe 20 on this project. Um, but it's just a single project today because this is our last installment of Fall Fridays. I know you guys are really sad about it. I am too. But those stores out there, they they don't even care about fall anymore. It is basically Christmas time, even though it's November, the stores think it's Christmas time so I can't find any supplies in my local stores for fall anymore so this will be the last installment for fall Friday so hope you guys enjoy and stick around stay tuned to my channel don't forget to subscribe because we are going to have a lot a lot and when I say a lot I mean a lot of Christmas stuff because I am totally obsessed with buffalo plaid. I just won't, I just, it's my confession. I'm obsessed. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below as usual and let's get into it. So the supplies for this project are copper wire, 24 gauge, the purple and white flowers, pink and cream flowers, and then these dark pink hydrangeas. First thing you're going to do is snip all the stems of your flowers. I start at the lowest point so that way if I need to make them shorter, I can make them shorter. Um, and I ended up taking off the leaves. And then with all my wreath projects that involve flowers, I just kind of lay out the flowers the way that I want them to look. So it gives me a good idea of where I want everything to go. So particularly if you have multiple colors, like in this project, I think I have three or four different colors that I'm working with. So you really want to lay out your flowers and take off any leaves that you don't want to use and lay them out however you think looks good. I'm not a flower person, so I don't know too much about flowers. I do know that the dark pink ones are hydrangeas, but I just try and cut my stems the length that I want them and then do a color pattern. And always take a picture because that way you can remember. <laughs> so when you move on to the next step, you're not wondering like, where did the pink ones go? Where do the white ones go? So it does make it easier to lay everything out and then take a picture and then go forward and secure it later. So now that we have our picture of our layer, we're gonna use our 24 gauge wire that I got from Michaels and secure each stem of each flower to the wreath form. The thing about this wreath form is that it's very thick, so I had to go around this a lot of times and I've never used wire to secure flowers, so 
I wasn't sure if I got the right gauge and this gauge was actually pretty thin so I think I got the wrong one but you're just gonna do that for every flower so here I'm gonna at least start my first section of my color pattern and then I will show you guys the rest from there but the one thing I did learn about securing flowers to this form is that because the form is so thick you can actually stick some of the stem in so I will actually show you guys that later but you want to just keep your color scheme consistent as you go around the form. This form I actually got from CVS. It was saved from a previous project that I used in one of my fall Friday videos, so check that out. And I don't know if they sell these online. I'm pretty sure they probably have them on Amazon because Amazon has everything. But you can probably purchase this pretty inexpensively and I only seen wicker wreath forms at the Dollar Tree so I don't even know if Dollar Tree would have them but I'm pretty sure Michael has them I've just never seen them in the store but I'm pretty sure you can buy them online so this is the part I was talking about that you can stick some of the stems directly into this form because it is a little thicker so what you want to do is take your stem straighten it out and cut your stem shorter than normal and then with the short stem you can actually stick it directly into the form and it'll stay pretty well and then later on if you need to secure it with a lot more wire or something like that then you can do so but pretty much that is the entire project so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little shorter than normal, but I really want to get in one last fall Friday video before the new season. So if you guys liked it, hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time.